Hey there guys, in today's video, I am gonna be showing you how I built a PVC foraging toy for a pair of lemurs. Now this is a variation of a toy that I've shown you guys before, so I'm gonna be showing you how I built it, but also giving you things to think about with considerations when it comes to building these toys for all sorts of different animals, because toys like this can be applied to all sorts of different animals. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, make sure to stick around. That's gonna be coming up right after this. Hey there guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. Now in today's video, I am gonna show you a variation of a PVC foraging toy. Uh, I have shown you guys things similar to this before, uh, but for this video and this toy in particular, I am making this for a pair of common brown lemurs. Now, with making toys for different animals, there are a couple of things that you want to pay attention to to make sure the toys you're offering them are going to be safe. You wanna make sure that you are paying attention to the size of the toy, the size and strength of the materials that are making the toy. They need to be appropriate for the animal that you are offering them for. You can take the same idea and scale up or scale down the sizes whenever it is appropriate for your animal. A toy like this one that we're gonna be building today could easily be used for things like dogs, cats, parrots. It could be used for small mammals, things like ferrets, guinea pigs, rabbits. It could be used for livestock, things like goats and cows would enjoy it. Uh, and obviously the lemurs that you guys are gonna see are gonna enjoy this as well. You always want to make sure whenever you give an animal something new to interact with that you are able to monitor that interaction. Every animal is going to be an individual. We want to make sure that every animal is able to interact safely with the items that we are giving them. But with all that in mind, let's go ahead and jump into how I built this PVC foraging toy for lemurs. Now we are going to start by building this toy utilizing a few basic pieces, all of which can be found at your local hardware store. Uh, I am building this using one and a half inch Schedule 40 PVC. You do just wanna make sure if you are changing up the size of this that you are using the appropriate fittings and parts. This piece of Schedule 40 one and a half inch PVC pipe is about 10 inches long. Now I am also going to need a end cap that corresponds to the size PVC that I am using. I am going to need a clean out adapter. And there are a bunch of different options for this. Some of them have a smaller handle, but because I am building this for lemurs, I did not use a smaller handle like this. Their little hands might be able to grab it. Instead, this larger option means it's gonna be a lot harder for them to get a hold of. So pay attention to things like that when you are building your toy. Now I am also going to need a piece of PVC to be a slider. This is a scrap piece of PVC. You can always ask them at the hardware store. They may have scrap pieces of PVC. You just wanna make sure that what you are using is able to slide along your base piece. So here I have a two inch piece of PVC. I am going to need an eye bolt and a locking nut. The eye bolts always come with a regular nut, but they don't secure in place. So using a nylon threaded locking nut like this means as soon as you hit the nylon inside, you can't really turn it by hand. That's going to be very, very useful when animals are playing with this. Now to make it so that we can tighten this as much as it needs, we are going to need things like a wrench or a pair of pliers. Um, and also using a screwdriver will just give us some leverage. We are also going to be using some PVC cement to secure all the fittings in place. We're gonna need a drill and a drill bit. You just wanna make sure that your drill bit is slightly larger than the shaft of the eye hook you are using, smaller than the locking nut and the eye of the bolt. I am also going to be using a hole saw to create that opening in the PVC. Now, we're gonna go ahead and walk through how to put this together pretty quickly, um, but it is a very, very simple toy to make. 
One of the first things you want to do, uh, especially if you are like me doing this on your dining room table, get a scrap piece of lumber that you can drill into. Now I'm using my drill bit. I'm going to be drilling into the end cap of the PVC. This is where we are going to secure an eye bolt with the locking nut. That way we'll be able to hang this in a variety of places. You can see once I went through the PVC, I actually did make a small notch into that scrap piece of lumber. Uh, luckily, that is not my dining room table, so I'm not gonna get yelled at today. If you need a scrap piece of lumber to work on, again, you can usually ask them at the hardware store. They have off cuts and small pieces of lumber that you can usually get very, very cheaply. Now, once I get the eye bolt secured into place, I am going to use my uh, screwdriver to help position that to give me a little more leverage, or you can just do it by hand. One of the challenges is trying to make it where you guys can see what you are, what I am building, but that I can also see what I am doing. Um, so I love the cinematic moment of you guys getting more of the shadow while I am tightening that up, but it was very, very simple to do. Now I am going to go ahead and show where I want to position that hole. I am using a bur or a hole saw that is made specifically for PVC. So it shouldn't give me as much burrs, um, things that are going to be little pieces that are on the PVC. Um, I also don't like using things like spade bits on PVC because I feel like they can catch the PVC very, very easily and it can sometimes crack, it can send pieces flying. We don't want that. Now I did just use that clean out valve to give me an idea of where I wanted to position this hole. Now this PVC hole saw is great, but as you guys can see, it does make a ton of mess. Um, by the end of making all of these different toys that I was making this day, um, I was ready to you know, set up Santa's workshop because I could make snow globes for everyone. Tiny little pieces of PVC were all over my table. Um, but again, it was very, very easy to do. It was very, very safe to do. Before you give this to an animal, you are just going to want to make sure that you clean it out very, very well. If you are doing this uh, somewhere, you can use something like a hair dryer to sort of blow all the pieces, collect them into one place. Um, but now that I have this hole, you can see it is exactly where I want it to be. That's going to be the hole in my one and a half inch piece of PVC pipe. I'm going to secure the fittings now. When I secure a clean out valve or anything like that, I do take out the cap. I don't want to run the risk of accidentally gluing that cap shut. If you do that, you're not going to have a good time. Instead, I'm going to apply PVC cement to just on the inside of the fitting. I am going to firmly push that into place. I am then going to do the same thing with the uh, end cap. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I get my slider into position. If you glue both of those pieces on before you make sure that slider is in position, you're not going to be able to get it back into position. Now that toy could still work. It would be a hanging foraging toy. Your animal would maybe have to reach for it. So it would not be a complete waste, but you, you lose this option where that small piece of PVC can slide back and forth. Now all I need to do is wait for this PVC cement to dry. I can screw that cap into place, fill it with food, and use it for the animals that I am going to be offering it to. Now, if you guys like video tutorials like this, you want to make sure you subscribe to the High Red Bird YouTube channel. Uh, that way you don't miss out on any of these fun videos. Leaving a thumbs up lets me know what sort of videos you guys like. But here we have two common brown lemurs that are exploring this toy, trying to figure out what exactly is inside of it. To be honest, they were interested before they even realized there was food inside of it because it was a new and novel item. Now you can see they are able to spin it around because there is a locking nut in place. I am not worried about them eventually opening it up. And they did learn how to use the slider pretty quickly. Um, although not for themselves, they instead took advantage of the other one opening it. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time.
I do need to say a special thank you to my Patreon patrons. Not only do they support the High Red Bird YouTube channel, but they do get special bonuses and additional content as well. I am also very thankful of my High Red Bird channel sponsors. If you would like to find out more information, you can find that in the description section of this video. Thank you all so much.